And uh, this is a math class, but uh, if you've ever watched any of Joseph Flatty's original classes, it actually started with some calisthenics, and I'm going to bring that in more on Friday for our class, but um, uh, we're just going to start here. So you can double your band if it's super long, just so that you get a bit more tension, and you can have your hands just a little bit wider apart. You're just going to take a breath in. And as you bring your arms up, watch that you don't let the ribs flare out. Keep them in and just open your chest. And then bring your arms up and lower them down. This can be done with a dowel as well, quite nice. And open. If you're tight in your shoulders and when you bring your arms back, you find your head does this, you're better to bring your arms in front and just open your chest this way. And down, good. And we go up and wide elbows, drawing your abdominals in to keep your ribs nice and stable, especially if you are a little tight in the shoulders. Good, and we'll just do two more, just noticing here how my head stays still, stuck right over top of my spine. And one more time, lift up, open your chest. We're gonna pick the arms up and hold them there, and then just take the feet wide, nice and wide, knees and toes are turned out. And just do a little side bend over and then use your abdominals to bring you up. Shoulders stay soft. Side bend over. This can be done with the towel too. We're not really using the band to pull on as much as to provide um, shape and just some feedback to our position. And so a towel or a dowel and bring it up. And then over to the left and stay there. And now keep the knees nice and bent. Round your back, scoop. And then take it over, complete turn to arm to the side and up. And then let's head to the right. So side bend, scoop right to your side bend. So rotate so we're completely facing me and up. Good. And then to the left, side bend. And then scoop completely to your side bend and up. And one more time to the right, over and around, over and up, good, and bring your arms down and shake the shoulders out right there. Then take it behind you here, and we're just gonna open your arms here and bring it back in, and open, press out. So if double feels too much tension, then uh, just go single, and just opening through your chest. As your arms press out, draw your shoulders down lightly, just draw them down, good. And then we're going to add a rotation. So you press out and just rotate. Let everything rotate. Come back and down. So we're rotating the upper body more than the lower body, but let your pelvis and your hips and your legs and your knees move with. Just moving our body and rotate. And bring it back and down. And one more time, take it over and open. Bring it back and down, good. And then take it behind you, and you're gonna bring your hands even closer together, and just lift up behind you, and bring it back down. Same thing, lift up behind you, keep your ribs drawn in, and bring it back down. Keep your head line. So if you're, again, you're a little tight in the shoulders, you might catch yourself trying to compensate uh, by coming out of position. Reach your arms long. So I'm not so much even thinking about lifting them up. I want to reach them down and then reach them back. And down, good. And then reach them back. And down. And then we're going to lift and hold. Draw scapula down just a little and just into a bicep curl. Keep the tension, just, just a little bit of tension on the band there. So I'm not trying to like pull the band apart as tight as I can, but you want some tautness there. And that's going to help to activate your bicep. These can be a little soft. I'm more interested in what's happening between your, your tailbone and the top of your head. And pull in with the breath, good. And abdominals in, excellent. And curl, and one more time, and curl. Now keep the elbows bent and slide the arms down and then lift the elbows up. As you bring the elbows up, point the tips of the elbows to your back wall. Uh, drawing the tips of your elbows towards center. So you're drawing them back and in. Good. And in, and one more time. You're gonna lift your elbows up, straighten them out, 
bend up and down and lift and reach and in and down. Good, two more times, up, easy, broaden through your collarbone. And one more time and out and in and down. Good, and just shake it up right there, excellent. So now you're gonna open up the band. You're gonna stand on the band and I want you to grab really tight. So we want you to have lots and lots of tension. Yes, and just stand your shoulders down and back. And just do some circles. So we want to take the shoulders forward, up, back. And as they come down, allow the, arm, this, the band to draw the arms down. So this is giving some release work through the neck and your upper traps. Again, knees are a little bit soft. Abdominals drawn in just a little here. Good. Forward, up, and down. One more time. And it's just really establishing connection into the mid back. Now, keeping that tension, you're going to breathe in. And as you exhale, you're just going to roll forward. Use your abdominals to roll. So allow the band to get flat. Take a breath. And as you exhale, from your core, from your abdominals, draw belly to spine. And then as you come up, using the spinal muscles in the abdominals to restock, take a breath. As you exhale, each vertebra up and over, up and over. Let the band cause some lengthening through the back, but resistance for your abdominals. And then curl, use your abs, curl through, restack, pelvis over thighs, ribs over pelvis, broaden through your collarbone, relax. Yeah, let the band sort of promote that release. One more time, each vertebra up and forward goes over, rounding down. Take a breath. As you exhale, draw your abdominals in, deepen that scoop, restacking, 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 and open your chest. Good. So then we're going to take the band and cross it. And place your hands on your hips so that you're anchored. And we're going to take the feet apart a little bit here. And you're going to bend your knees and stand and bend and stand. So we've just got shoulders down and back, hands right here in our holsters, down and up. Good. So we want to start to get into our side hips. We're going to use the band as resistance to activate the side hip or your glute knee. This time as you stand, you're going to tilt and lift the leg out. Keep your foot flexed so your ankle stays strong and lift. Down and up. And down, find your balance point. So it's both side hips that are activating. So the one that's having to balance and stabilize, and then the one that's having to move. Go down and lift. Good. Down and lift. Down and up. Good. Down and up. So let's take a little bent knee walk across your mat. So we're stepping. And then once you get to the end of the mat, go back the other way. And what we want to do is push out from your hip, from your hip. Good, and again, push from the hip, push from the hip, push from the hip. With this one, you kind of need a band for it to feel that glute knee work. Step, 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 step. Make sure your knees and toes are working together. So you don't want your knee dropping in. Hold that solid and push and push. Good, and back the other way. Push from the hip, push from the hip. You got it. Yes, yeah, so hopefully you're starting to feel that. And one more round each way, keeping your body as upright as you can. There'll be a little shifty, but you just don't want to really be rocking. And push from the hip, push from the hip. Push, da, and da, good. And then release it. Uncross the band, good. And then you're gonna hold with your thumb to the ceiling. The knees can have a little soft bend. Again, shoulders down and back. And we're just gonna do a little bicep curl here. Good, and curl. So I'd say in our mat work, the, the triceps get a fair bit of work because really what you have in the mat is push-ups and support and stability work with the upper body. 
but we don't get a lot of uh, bicep work. So I thought I would throw some of this stuff in as we warm up, good, and curl. And then three little pulses here. We're gonna go one, two, three, and down. Now that people are finding that they're exercising a lot, but they're not necessarily getting a lot of upper body work, like out walking and walking and walking for hours, but we wanna make sure that we're balancing off what's not getting used through our main activity. And that's what we call cross training so that we have overall fitness. And down two more times and curl, two, three, and down and curl two, three, and down. Good. All right, so we're gonna keep using the band uh, in a little bit, but you can just drop it down to the side. And we're gonna come to the end of our mat and we're going to go roll forward, walk out into our plank, and then come back up. So it's a lot of really lifting through the tummy. So we take a breath in. As you exhale, chin not forward, scoop rounding, and then we do three steps. We go one, two, three, and you want to hit that line. Now here, what we're going to do is eight knee pulls, seven, six, five, draw belly to spine, four, three, two, one. And then it's three walks up, so you want to really scoop through the belly. So it goes one, two, boom, and then you roll up. Inhale. Exhale, chin not forward, rounding your body. Three walks forward, one, two, three. Hit that line. This time, you can drop the knees or stay on the toes, and we're gonna do six push-ups. Six, five, four. Knees your toes, feel strong in your upper body. Two, and one. And then three walk, walk, walk. Here we go, one, two, Nice and fast and rolling up. You can go one more time, take a breath in. Exhale, roll forward. Good, three rocks. One, two, three, hit that line. And now hold this position, tummy's in. We're gonna do little walks with the feet. Keeping the pelvis, watch that they don't start sticking the bump. Keeping the pelvis, push into the arms, drop belly to spine, and then a little faster. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Eight, seven, six, five, breathe it up. Four, yes, strong arms, strong abdominals. You got it. And one. Now touch your knees down and stretch back. Well done. Breathe wide into your ribs and exhale. Fantastic. All right. So now we're going to have a seat and just planting your feet, hands to your shins. You're going to lift up, broaden through your chest, strengthen through your spine, and then just round your back curl. Draw your arms in so you're active through your arms and your back. And then curl, scoop. Belly to spine, lift your chest up, roll your shoulders back. And round. Now hold it here. Release your arms, reaching forward. Soften through your shoulders. Relax through your throat. Draw your belly to spine. And lift one foot and bring it down. And lift the other foot. If you need to hang on behind your legs, you can do that. That would be what we call a modification. When we modify something, we make it a little easier. We tweak it to give you more support. A progression is we add more challenge. So a progression would be to add a little more movement through the upper body. If you had one of those small balls that we use a lot in class, this would be one that you could have the ball behind your low back. Good, another progression, bring the hands to the forehead. You're just off your tailbone. Yeah, we're on more of the safe one. We're not sure you feel like we're sitting right on the tailbone. Good. And then the next progression is rotation. So you can be doing these options with your hands down. And curl. Two more. Breathe through. And one. Good. And then taking it forward, open your hips. Lift your arms up. And fold in half. 
relax your head and shoulders down. So if you uh, find uh, roll-ups, you, you've got some sticky spots in your spine, you can grab your band and place your band under your feet. If you roll up fine, you don't need to use your band for this. I'll uh, show the band and then I'll show no band. So if you've got, if you do want to use the band, you're gonna hold, choke up fairly tight and then just create that little bit of a curl. Take a breath. And exhale, draw your abdominals in and curl back. So here the band can support you through some of those sticky spots. And then your head comes down, draw your collarbone. Inhale, chin that forward. Now here, allow the band to pull your arms towards your feet as you use your abdominals to draw your ribs back. The no band option looks like this. Take a breath. Exhale, curling back, draw your abdominals in. As soon as your sacrum comes down, keep your feet right there and then come all the way back. Breathing in, arms long. They're paired out to the floor. Exhale, contract and come forward. So sometimes we use um, props like the bands or fitness circles to add more challenge. And sometimes we use them to support us. In this case, the band would provide assistance. And ultimately, we want to get to being able to do the roll up without a band. But what's more important is that you're able to feel control and flow in your movement. There's your chest lift. Contract and come forward. Draw your abdominals in, reaching your hips and thighs long. As soon as your sacrum comes down, keep your feet still in that spot on the mat. One more full range, up, curl. Shoulders stop and they're over your hips. Take a breath and exhale to come all the way back, all the way back and down. If you've been using the band, let go of the band. Bend your knees, place your heels under your seat, arms are long. Take another breath in. As you exhale, tuck, press down into your feet, reach your knees over your toes. Squeeze your glutes as you lift your hips. Good. And another breath. Good. And then you just roll down. Roll through your spine and release at the bottom. Inhale. Exhale from your abdominals. Press down into your feet, heavy into your feet. Reach your knees over your toes. Take a breath in now. And as you exhale and roll down, bring your arms up and float them overhead. Again, inhale. Exhale, press down into your feet. Press through your arms, lift your hips. Bring your hands to the mat. Press actively into your hands to get a little more hip extension. Opening your throat, take a breath in, and exhale to roll down. Good, we're gonna add on. Feet come a little closer together. Inhale, exhale, scoop. Moving through your arms, press your hands into the mat, lift your hips. Bring your left leg up to tabletop, point your toe to the ceiling. Lower your pelvis, reach your toes up. Notice the amount of inner thigh engagement working with your side hip, your other hip, such that your pelvis, your knee, and your toe track together. Breathe, pushing from your hip. Push down into your right foot, and then use your right glute and upper hamstring to lift. Keep creating that length of your knee reaching over your toe. And lift. And one more time, and lift. Hold it there. Take your left leg, float it to the side just a little. Keep your right hip up and bring it back. Float your left leg to the side just a little and bring it back. Two more, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold from that right side. And one more time with your breath out and bring it in. Bring your pelvis down. Place your left foot down, both feet, take a breath, reset your feet, exhale, lift your hips. 
where you step heavy into your left foot, bring your right leg to tabletop, extend it to the ceiling, tighten your thigh, really lengthen and reach through your right foot, out your toe, hip comes down, heavy into your foot, working through this whole glute. We have our outer and inner hip also stabilizing, it's beautiful. And lift and squeeze, open and lengthen, and down. And lift, and down one more time. You're gonna hold it up here, hold it. This is leg active. Slowly take it out to the side. Tighten your center, bring it back. Good, out to the side. Tighten your center, bring it back. Two more, easy with the breaths. All about holding stability in your lower body and in your pelvis. Good, and out, lift your hip, good. And now bend your knee, slowly down. Hold your right leg in tabletop. Engage your abdominals. Relax your neck. And now we do toe taps. Exhale. Exhale. So the more you reach out from your hip, so keep the knee angle the same, and you're reaching from your hip here as if you're reaching over a barrel that's positioned behind the back of your thigh. As you exhale to tap, Feel the compression of your abdominals drawing up and in. And exhale. 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 Good. So this is an option for you when we get into our checklist series, our abdominal series, and you're like, it's too much on your neck. You can just lie down and come to this one. This is a really good, strong exercise. Hold tabletop. <clears throat> Arms come up and overhead. Inhale, arms start to move, chest lifts, reach your arms long, collarbone wide, draw belly to spine. Option to extend the legs and begin. In two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five. Fifty in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, six in two, three, four, five. Really work on your breath and pressing your abdomen. So this is both a breathing exercise and an abdominal exercise. Two more breaths in two, four, five, out two, three, four, ninety in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, one hundred. Inhale, bend your knees. Hug your legs, bring it down, turn your head side to side. Good. Excellent. And then take your arms out to the side and just do a little rotation, stretch through your spine, take a breath in. Exhale, contract your abdominals to come back and then over to the other side. Big breath in. And exhale to bring it back. Arms come overhead, legs stay in tabletop. Inhale, starting to come up. You're gonna take your left hand, place it on the left ankle, the right hand on your left shin. Extend your right leg, your toes point to the same spot in space, shoulders down and back. This leg, don't pull it in too tight, keep it out to create shape and press into the leg. Here we go, single leg stretch, exhale, exhale. Toes point to the same spot in space, clean and crisp, and exhale. Option, support the head, or just put your head down. And four, and three, and two, and one. Bring it in, take your arms out to the side, interlock your fingers behind your head, let your neck relax, gently press your head into your hands, scoop from your abdominals, and then we rotate and center. Make sure you're keeping your upper body shape between your shoulder, your arms, and your head the same, and the rotation is coming from your rib cage, your sternum. Add the leg, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, 
Inhale. Good. One more each side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold it there. Extend your legs out. Take your hands behind your legs. Curl up. Shake out your head. Draw your shoulders down and back. Draw your belly to spine. Extend your left leg out. Hold your hands behind your right calf or your thigh. Focus on lengthening through this left hip and thigh. Again, deepen through your belly. Take a breath in and we switch. And reach. And exhale, exhale, exhale. Focus on that. Lengthening through the bottom leg. Exhale, exhale. That's it. And two more. Exhale. And then hold it, hold it, take your arms wide, take your hands behind your head, rotate to the left top leg, and we switch. And switch, control the leg motion. Draw belly to spine through the breath, exhale. And we go forward and reach. And two and one, hold it there, right leg up. Bring your torso back to center. Place your left leg down. Bring your upper body down. Bring your arms by your side. Flex your left foot. Tighten that thigh. Keep your core engaged. And circle. And circle. And you inhale. And you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath cycle in this direction and other way. And inhale, exhale. Like a sweep and catch. Control and flow and stability is more important than range and tempo. Make it smaller, slow it down. Last one and center. Bend your knee, bring the other leg up. Extend your right leg up, flex your left foot, reach your heel to ceiling, engage your center and circle. Inhale and exhale and inhale and sweeping touch. One more breath cycle, around and around. Other way, and around, good, around and inhale. And exhale, one more breath cycle. Inhale and exhale. Good job, bend the knee, take your foot down, slide it up. Bring the arm closest to me above your head and then roll onto your side. Reach your legs long, pull your tummy in. Squeeze your legs together, both legs lift, both legs hover. Focus on shortening the rib to hip. So while we do have some hip stability work, the main focus is obliques. So as your legs lift, your bottom waist will lengthen to the floor as you shorten on the side, top side. And you lift, and you lower, and lift, and lower. Think of lengthening out as your legs come up. Good, and now hold it up. Lift the legs a little more, reach them a little longer. Draw the tummy in, check your shoulders. Good, and bottom leg, up, 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 up. Inhale and exhale, reaching out. Your ankle stays still. You're moving from your inner thigh, your inner hip. Up, 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 up. and four, and three, and two, Hold it there, reach. Bend the bottom knee. Top leg, flex your foot. And lift your leg. And lift. Now we want to keep the waist lifted. So you can feel your bottom ribs are down. Your waist is lifted. As this leg comes up, think of that reach coming from your hip, such as you're lifting from the glute. And up and lower. Up. And lower, now hold it there, and little pulse, lift. Without letting the waist drop, really stack your pelvis and lengthen across the room. 
half set. Little lift for four, three, two. Now hold your leg up. Take this hand coming up and onto this knee. You're going to bring the leg in and then you're going to kick it out to the side. Bring the knee in and then take it out on a diagonal. Lift and lengthen. Lengthen and strengthen. Bring the knee in and kick it out to the side. Anchor between your, um, your knees. So my left knee is on the ground. So I'm going to anchor between my left knee and my right hand so I don't fall over to the side. Two more and out to the side. So anchor, find that diagonal line. Now hold it out there and little lift. So you're on a diagonal line, little lift. Push it up through the arm, through the spine. Think lift and lengthen, lengthen and strengthen. And four, three, two, and one. And bring the leg in and stretch back. Take a breath. And then we're just going to spin right around to the other side before I forget all the wonderful things that we did there. So you're going to lie down, arm long. This hand is down, but the shoulders soft. Stack your pelvis and tilt slightly forward. Squeeze your legs together. As your legs lift, this is oblique. So what will happen is this side will shorten and your bottom waist will lengthen to the mat. Your bottom leg pushes the top leg up as you reach your legs long. Good. And lengthen out. And lower, excellent. And lengthen out. And lower, squeeze your legs together. Breathing as you go. And lengthen and lower. Now we're gonna take it up, hold it up. Squeeze the legs together, tighten your thighs, reach them long and from the inner thigh. Up, 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 da, 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 da. And reaching as you lift. It's not the feet that are moving, it's the inner head. Oh yeah, good. You guys are getting so strong, mad strong. Love it. When we come back to our regular classes, we can still do these mat classes once or twice a week and you will really notice it in your body. And up, up, up. Took something like this for our clients to request mat. It's really made me chuckle, it's awesome. Good, now hold it there, hold it. Bend the bottom knee. Now we wanna stack our pelvis so the waist is off the mat. Flex your foot and lift and lower, and lift and lower, good, up. And as you lift, reach out. So think about not just up and down, but the lengthening away and lifting. That's it. Lengthen away and lift. So you're really getting that side hip going. When you keep the waist and the spine in neutral, you keep your pelvis stacked. The side hip is truly where the work comes in. And then hold it up and little pulses. Push that leg away. Energize out your heel, long out the heel, up, breathing through. Up, that's it. And then hold your leg up. And we're going to come up and over. So now your anchor is going to be from the right knee to the left hand or whichever it is for you. And you're gonna bring the knee in, but you're gonna push it away off to the side. And so you don't topple over to one side, that anchoring makes your obliques do some lovely work here as well. So we bring it in and push away. Lift and lengthen, lengthen and strengthen. Use your whole body for this, guys. Your whole body is active. And press, that's it, in and reach away. Use that glute, you got it. And reach, pushing into the arms, good. And now we're gonna take the leg out and hold it and lift, lift, lift and lengthen. Don't lose the form through the torso, you got this. Breathe it out and four and three and two and one. And bring it in and reach it back. Well done. Take a breath. Beautiful. So let's come around to a seated position and we'll come into um, a, a straddle stick. 
And we're gonna do some variation of spine stretch forward. So you're sitting tall through your body, arms are reaching. Take a breath from the top of your head. It's as if you're peeling one bone at a time off the wall. And the lengthening forward comes from the low back. Now let's just do our regular version. As you exhale, contract your abdominals, come back through your pelvis first, and then reach up as if you're sitting tall along the wall. Inhale, exhale, each vertebra up and over, up and over, that's it. And then the length comes from the low back. Now stay here, lift your arms by your ears, straighten your spine. So now you wanna draw the scapula down. So there's lots of work here in the lower, in the lower um, trapezius, shoulders down the back muscles and lower belly. And then you round forward and stretch. You wanna find that and then roll up. So that's really key that you find that straight line through the back. Good, so let's take a breath and up and over. Lengthen through the low back. Now you're, you're reaching away, reaching away. Find the extension. Work it, work it. Find the extension. Draw the scapula down. Point the thumbs back. Straighten your elbows. Open your throat. And now with the arms, pulse back forward. Keep your head alignment. Three and two and one. And then round forward and roll up. One more time, take a breath. If you're super tight, you might have to prop yourself up on a, a block or a pillow. If it's your low back or your hamstrings that are getting in the way, lift your sternum, lengthen, lengthen, feel the strength come into your back, draw the shoulders down, try to straighten through the elbows, feel that glorious mid back work, and we lift for four, three, two, one. Take a breath. Round forward and roll all the way up. Good. All right. So now that we've had that little chat, we're going to go into the open leg rocker today. So there's a few rolling variations. The first is rolling like a ball, which we've done lots of. The second is the seal puppy, where we're in this position. And the third is the open leg rocker. It's probably my least favorite because my hamstrings are tight. Um, and so I find it hard. So the position. Here, this is what you'll see in the book. When we look at real life, the position can also be here, holding behind your hamstrings, and it can also be with knees bent. So we're gonna to progress to um, warm our hamstrings up to it. So let's start with knees bent, shoulders down and back, lift your chest. You don't throw your head back to start the roll. Instead, keep your eyes forward, scoop through your abdominals, roll, Come up, balance, straighten your spine at the top. Contract, scoop through the abdominals, roll. Come up and sit tall. The next is straighten the legs, back strong. Scoop, exhale. Straighten the legs, balance. Scoop, come up, balance. Oh, I lost it. Oh. And up, there we go, all right. Third, oh my God, here we go. Hold on to the shins, draw the scapula down, broaden the collarbone, and scoop. Come up, balance. Oh yeah, there we go, awesome. And back, and balance. How are we doing, shoulders back, are we there? Are we there, balance? Two more, and curl, nice work you guys. And lift, fight it, work it, work it. And one more time, curl, take it back, come up, woo, woo, I lost it there, this is a tough one for me, and there, all right, bring your legs together, take your arms up, hold, four, three, two, and one, take your hands behind your legs, roll back onto your low back, stay in your chest lift, hands on your chins, we still have double leg stretch to complete our abs here. Shoulders down and back. Keep your chest lift. Inhale, hit that line. Exhale. Now, where do your arms go? Can you get them back behind your ears, reaching long without your upper body dropping? Stay up. That's it. And you inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Eyes on your thighs. You got this. Four. Bring it in. Three. Pull it in. Two. 
And now one, hold it there, hold it, hold it, and start to rock, start to rock, rock, rock. Bring your arms down in front, rock, scoop, scoop through the tummy, little rock, little rock, little rock, and come up, sit tall. We're gonna cross one leg over the other. This might be a new one for, for many of you, if not all of you, it's called the, um, Boomerang. So we're going to reach forward, scoop through the tummy. You might want to watch me do one. I'm going to roll back. I'm going to take my legs over. I'm going to cross them the other way. I want to hold that shape as I roll down. And then I'm going to rock up. I'm going to balance and bring my feet down. Come forward. Join in when you're ready. Curl back. Hands come down. Lift the legs. Scoop and round over. Cross your legs the other way. Draw your abdominals in, roll down. Let the upper body come up. Lift your chest, balance. And your legs come down and stretch forward. Curl back, hands come down. Smooth and steady, over. Cross your legs the other way. Draw your abdominals in, roll down. Start to come up and balance. Ta -da! Yeah, that's it. Bring it down. And we have one more time. And we move around back. Hands come down. Use your abdominals. Lift up and over. Cross your legs. Draw belly to spine. Rolling through lift. Hold. And then bring your legs down and fold forward. Take a breath in. And roll up to seated position. All right, so we're just going to do the side bend and a little back extension here to finish off. So in this position, you've got your bottom leg bent at about 45 degrees. This foot comes and snuggles in front. We want to keep the shoulders stable. Your option is to keep this knee down. So we're lifting from the hips and side bending over. Your second option, which is a progression, is lifting the hips up. So that's the focus to keep the shoulder stability. My hand is a little ahead of my shoulders. Collarbone is wide. I want to think about my hips driving up and down. Just brush, don't sit and lift. Just brush, just to hover and up and over. And one more time and up and over. And down, spin around, other side. Choose to be on the knee or full extended. Hand is a little ahead of the shoulders. Lift the ribs so sharp, starting in a nice stable position through the shoulders. And out. inhale, lift your hips. And exhale, just to hover. Inhale, up and over, push through your supporting arm. And down. And lift. And down, good, two more. Don't quite touch and up, stay active. And down and one more time and lift. And down. Bend the knees, come around over onto your front. Hands are gonna come under your shoulders. So if you take your elbows and your forearm and your hands and slide them down, so your hands are under your shoulders, Shoulders down and back. Your eyes are a little bit lifted. Draw your pub uh, your abdominals in and press your pubic bone to the mat. Think about rolling a marble away with your nose as you press down into your forearms and hands, lengthening your sternum forward. This is all about the upper back. This is not about arching through the low back. So you want to keep your belly pulled in, keep your pubic bone pressed to the mat, and lengthen from your rib cage and then lengthen forward as you come down. Again, pubic bone down, belly to spine, lengthen forward as you lift. Stop before you feel compression in the low back, draw scapula down, broaden through the collarbone. Stay here with the, with the abdominals pulled in, hover your hands. Take your arms out to the side, thumbs to ceiling, shoulders rolling back. Draw belly to spine, deepen that belly work, and squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze. 
and squeeze, and squeeze, and four with the breath. Three, two, one. Hold it. Take your arms overhead, overhead. Palms to the floor. Draw shoulders down. Draw belly to spine. Breathing. Feel the strength in your body. And exhale. Bend your elbows. Bring your hands under your shoulders. And lower your body down. Using your hands, push back into a child stretch. Take a breath in. And exhale. Coming onto your hands and knees, onto your quadruped, starting with the flat back. Take a breath in. Exhale, scoop, round your back. Let your head fall, shoulders soften. Inhale, passing through neutral. Keep your lower abdominals engaged. Pull your sternum forward. Draw your scapula down. Return to flat back. Push through the arms, tucking curl, rounding your back. Let your head hang and say no with your head. Yes with your head. Coming down to neutral spine, keeping lower abdominals engaged. Pull your sternum forward. It's not a big move, but it's powerful. And then push yourself back onto your knees, up onto your knees. Step one foot forward, curl your back toes under. Hands on your thigh, push up to a standing position. Spinning your feet on the ground, we call it ground center aligned, where we feel that energy of our feet contacted, grounding down to the earth. The strength of your center, we worked that today, but we also did lots of lengthening through your spine, through the crown of your head. Let's take a breath in together. As you exhale, bend your knees, sweep your arms to the floor, Inhale up and exhale. One more time. Inhale up and exhale. Ha! Ah, good job, you guys. Thank you for playing with me today. Let's check out, make sure that all our soldiers are standing. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, you made it on. 